interesting, strong opinions uh, that changed every six months. So uh, whatever. <laughs> so what are your three? Okay. So I'm going to start with one that, that is a that's, that's a good one. I, I, I actually think the land use issue is a really big one. The land use thing we have it's not just that it makes housing expensive. It also means that because of the way the regulation is distributed, um, the restrictions on land use are actually pushing people away from the states where where uh, worker productivity is the highest into states where it, where it's lower. If you actually look, you know, output per worker is lower in Texas than it is in the Northeast, but people move there largely because the uh, because it's too expensive to buy a house in the Northeast, and that's yeah, an yeah. that's an, that's an artificial scarcity, and I and, and I certainly am not in favor of artificial scarcity. Um, we never did get to talk about inequality and all that, but I would be very much for um, a program that that is uh, yeah, something like universal pre pre K uh, support, and and the reason for that is the the great tragedies of America right now is how, men, how much human potential is lost because we are a highly unequal society and children who make the mistake of, of choosing the wrong parents just do, do not get back in the human brain. There's overwhelming evidence that if you are born into the bottom quarter of the uh, socioeconomic status, uh, you just do not have a, a fair chance at making the most of yourself. Uh, uh, rich adult kids are more likely to graduate from college than poor smart kids. And we need to do everything we can to help children. So that would be a second thing. That's, that's, that's my next project. Assuming that's what they're doing, next project is to help them survive. My third one is the one everybody here is going to hate. I think we get a general program, program of trying to empower workers again. And starting with minimum wage, which is something we know how to do quite easily. But in fact, look, we used to have a very strong private sector wage group. We used to have a lot of policies that enhanced the bargaining power of workers. Um, and we had those policies during the 30 years after World War II, which were the period of most rapid, most successful economic growth in the history of America. And it was widely shared growth. It went, it went across the board. It was growth that, that was pretty much flat across the income distribution. It was a, a period during which everybody was living standard double. Um, circa 1980, we began this math in the world. Had. And since 1980, we've had growth that's not too bad on the whole. It's, uh, it's not as fast as it was during the post-war generation, but we've had growth that's not too bad, but it has not been distributed at all. And it's, it's been enormously concentrated in the hands of the world in this small minority at the top. And there are lots of things you want to do to address that, but one of them is to increase the bargaining power of workers. Make it easier, once again, for them to organize, raise minimum wages, do a, you know, the phrase that people are now talking about is pre-distribution. There's a lot of evidence now that you can do this to enhance bargaining power that it does not, in fact, uh, done in moderation, you know, I'm not turning us into Cuba, done in moderation that it can, in fact, make for a much more widely spread prosperity and we have to continue to have a growing economy. All right, very good. Uh, Steve Moore, quickly, your three policy recommendations. Look, I, I'm not a, a, a widely shared prosperity as well. I think it's the most important thing. Now, how do, the question we should be asking in this upcoming election and for the next 10 years is what do we do to help the middle class? Everything that has been done the last six or seven years has actually reduced the, the status of the middle class. So big government has to work so well for middle class. And by the way, unions, my goodness, unions contaminate everything they touch. What do they do? The steel industry, So the three things I would do, you mentioned the first two. Um, I, I think that if you really want to help 